scientists have believed that antibodies cannot get inside cells. They don't have the necessary machinery required. And so infections that have been caused by pathogens that live exclusively inside the cells were thought to be invisible to the antibody-based therapies. Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues, your daily dose of health and medical news. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan and today I am going to talk about a study which explained how pregnant women produce super antibodies to protect their newborns. Scientists discovered years ago that newborn infants depend upon the immune components transferred from their mothers to survive the onslaught of pathogens that being invading their bodies as soon as they are born. Now eventually children develop their own immune systems built through surviving natural exposures to viruses and bacteria and augmented by a phalanx of well-established childhood vaccines. But in the meantime, it's one of the mother's most important gift that keeps their babies safe, that is antibodies. Now a far-reaching study published in the Nature Journal provides a surprising explanation of how those early days of mother-provided immunity actually work and what that information could mean for preventing death and disability from a wide range of infectious diseases. The findings suggested that researchers may be able to mimic the amped up antibodies that expecting mothers produce to create new drugs to treat diseases as well as improved vaccines to prevent them. Now let's look at how the mothers make these super antibodies. The new study identifies which specific sugar is changed during pregnancy as well as how and when the change occurs. Now, During pregnancy, the acetylated form of sialic acid, which is one of the sugars attached to the antibodies, that shifts to the deacetylated form. This very subtle molecular change allows the immunoglobin G, which is the body's most common type of antibody, to take on an expanded protective role by stimulating the immunity through the receptors that respond specifically to the deacetylated sugars. Now, we've known for years that many far-reaching benefits of breastfeeding also. One major factor is the transfer of antibodies in the breast milk. The study shows that the molecular switch persists in nursing mothers so that the antibodies with enhanced protective scope are also transferred to the babies through this breast milk. Therefore, it was concluded that the immunity needs to exist within the mother for it to be transferred to her child. Without natural exposures or immunity primed by vaccination, when that light switch flips during pregnancy, there's no electricity behind it. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.